time for another edition of Science Sunday. Of course, joined by Eva Ryle of the Connecticut Science Center. Good morning, Mark. All right, so we're going to have some excellent fun? Yes. Yeah, I'm yeah. Always, always up for some fun things. Talking about eggnertia today. Eggnertia! <laughs> wow, we're all very punny on this Sunday morning. <laughs> um, so I wanted to start off with a good way to tell if an egg is uh, raw or if it's been hard boiled because, you know, you don't want to find that out the hard way. Yeah, absolutely. Right? All so right. uh, one good way to tell is to take an egg um, and one of these is hard boiled and one of them is raw. All right. And we're going to spin it and then we're going to stop them okay. and we're going to see what happens after. All right. You ready? Yep. So we're going to spin them, gonna stop them. And stop it. See what happens. Ooh, mine, mine kept going. Yeah, yours kept rotating even after we stopped it, but mine right. stopped dead. Right? Yeah. Well, yours, so, yeah. Yeah, mine doesn't move at all. So mine is the hard boiled one. Um, so that yolk is stuck in the middle, it's fixed. All right. So as soon as this stops moving, the whole thing stops moving. Meanwhile, Yours is raw. So, so the, yolk the yolk is, is still moving despite trying to stop it. Exactly, no? yeah, because uh, the law of inertia tells us that an object in motion will keep moving unless it's acted upon. And this is why seatbelts are very important in vehicles. Yeah, exactly. So you're kind of like that yolk in the egg if mm -hmm. you're not wearing your seatbelt. Okay. Because the car can stop, but you're going to keep going. Mm. You'll go through the windshield, and that's that's not good. That's not good. No, no, no. So wear your seatbelt. Yeah, there's a nice little takeaway from <laughs> Don't our, be our this egg. egg. Bun. <laughs> yes. So that's a good way to tell if an egg is raw or not. Um, and another, I guess, helpful kitchen tip, you know, maybe, <laughs> oh boy. maybe sometimes you're, you have a dinner party coming over and your serving tray is stuck underneath a raw egg. Right. I mean, that happens all the time. That happens. And this the is the raw egg, not the. <laughs> Not the hard-boiled egg. Yeah. This is the raw egg. This is the raw egg. So again, using the principles of inertia uh -huh. or egg inertia, we're going to get this tray out of the way. You ready? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to hit it really hard. And because we moved it so quickly, yep. our egg wasn't really acted on, so it was at rest, and it'll continue to stay at rest. All right. So it just Let's dropped just down in. into our water. The water was there just to cushion it. So. Just to cushion. So <laughs> it, it stayed intact. Stayed intact, and if the yeah. water weren't, wasn't there, then it would have probably cracked. But exactly. Yeah. And now our tray is free, so we can serve <laughs> our hard-boiled eggs for Excellent. our dinner guests. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right, so you guys are always doing fun life science at the Connecticut Science Center like uh -huh. this, and you have some really fun events planned in December, one specifically uh, on a Friday and Saturday. This is December 13th and 14th. Yes, it's our polar pajama party. Uh, so we show the Polar Express in our 3D theater. Anna and Elsa and Olaf are going to come join us so too. You might that know movie them. Chili? Yeah, something like that. Oh, no, the it's... Cold one? Oh, Frozen. A couple people might have heard of that. Gotcha. <laughs> oh, and you guys also, I know this is an annual tradition, you do the, the elf drop. Yes, we do a big elf drop, which is really fun. So that'll be on five to nine on those days. All right. But uh, jump online and get tickets, because it is really popular and it will sell out. All right, so normal hours, of course, are 10 to five. So mm -hmm. this is a, an evening event, and this is for kids, as opposed to the liquid lounge that is for adults. Yes, All yeah, right. yeah, this one is for kids. <laughs> so five to nine, again, the 13th and the 14th mm -hmm. of, of December. Uh, so go online, ctsciencecenter.org, and uh, secure your spot now. Yeah. All right, Eva, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.